Taking over the airwaves to save the Beat Hotel. Freedom Radio. Turn it up and rip the knob off. Hey, hello, welcome to Freedom Radio, home to more radioactivity than Fukushima. I'm your host, Chairman Miel, the biggest pussy since Catwoman, here with my man, Fidel Castro. Damn, somebody has to do this. That's a man, you creep. Well, anyway, it's time for the news with a cat with a chat. You see what I did there? It's my main man, uh, Julie. In today's news, Angelina Jolie and Madonna both gave record amounts of money to the annual Children in Need appeal. However, both asked to have their money returned when they realized it wasn't an auction. Well, thank you for that. Now, this week, we caught up with a very entertaining young sir, Ro Reward, to hear about his experience in the stand-up comedy scene. Comedy was always something that I wanted to get into, but, you know, growing up in West Belfast and Anderson, that was just something that happened to other people. Um, so, you know, I spent most of the years of my life with that in the back of my head, trying to do other things. And then uh, a work colleague of mine in Dublin called Ed Muldoon, I found out he was doing stand-up comedy. It was about two and a half years ago. Um, so it was about 31, 34 now. And uh, he, uh, he, he took me down to a club in Dublin um, and I went to watch him and he was amazing. He was really, like, brilliant. I laughed my ass off at him, really, really good stuff. And then a guy came on after him and he died. Died in his ass bad. He, he ate shit in the worst kind of way. And I thought to myself, yeah, I can be better than that. Um, so, you know, that, that was your main impetus. Uh, so I immediately waited three months and then uh, got the courage to finally get up in the pavilion in the Ormo Road and did my first gig. And it went great, but I remember being so nervous. Uh, a lot of my friends had turned up that I, th I thought hadn't told them. And my girlfriend had told them about it. One of them, Johnny Black from uh, LaFaro, I was walking past to go on stage. And the last thing I heard before I went on to talk behind the mic for the first time was, you better not be shite, mate. <laughs> And luckily I wasn't, and I'm still doing it now. But, yeah, comedy was always something that people sometimes think that isn't for them. There's a lot of younger people getting into it now, but that's how I started, by watching someone eat shit and thinking I could do better. And that was Rory telling us a little bit about his life and work. So this week at the Beat Hotel, the world's smartest man, Stephen Hawking, stopped by to see his old flame, Rusty Lane. And here's what he had to say. Hello, my name is Stephen Hawking. Let's take drugs and go down on each other. Oh, damn, I hope the kids weren't listening to that one. Well, now it's time for Rory to do his thing in a section of the show that we like to call... One beat per minute. I drink too much, far too much. Sometimes I wake up in the morning with the fear, wondering who I've texted or called a bitch on Facebook. Sometimes I wake up and find things in the morning, like a pair of scissors beside me in the bed. What am I supposed to think? Am I going to go downstairs and find a Nita Rev origami flamingos frolicking in the living room? Or once again, was I so drunk I couldn't untie my shoelaces and took the scissors to them? And as my cons sit frayed in the corner of the room, I realise that even at that, I failed. But the fear, the fear gets to you. It makes you do stupid things. It makes you search for answers that aren't there. Am I alone in this universe as I walk to work, going through all the tunes in my iPod? Shuffle next, shuffle next, shuffle next. You can never find a tune that you want So I start to ask it questions I ask the iPod How's this gig gonna go later? And it comes up with uh, Rage Against the Machine's bomb track Which tells me it's gonna go badly I think, well, no, how am I looking? Then a track by Supertramp comes up And tells me that I'm not looking so good Then I get annoyed at the iPod Even though I'm the one that bestowed it with consciousness I tell it it's full of shit I tell it it can't tell me what's going on So I test it I test the iPod I ask it Go on then, if you can tell the future If you're conscious What did I have for dinner today? And and Terravision's tequila comes on, I think, yeah, all right, mate, good job. Well, folks, that's all we have time for this week. But don't forget, you can check into the Beat Hotel any time. But until next time, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. Oh, man, I hear your nipples. Me on Facebook. Check my Facebook page. So if you're not already, please connect with me on Facebook. And check my Facebook page. Please post your own messages of gratitude on my Facebook page. Check my Facebook page and check my Facebook page. Would you connect with me on Facebook? So if you're not already, please connect with me on Facebook. Please post your own messages.